this is going to be five different exercises demonstrated with the TRX. If you have ratchet straps in your truck, you can use that. Attach it to like a bunk bed where you have your walkway in your truck. You could use it up there as long as it's secured and it can hold you. Otherwise, outside of your truck somewhere, a high bar. Um, the first exercise we're going to do is a TRX hamstring curl or whatever you have for straps in your truck. You're going to put your heels inside the strap. Yours are going to look a little bit different. You're obviously not going to have the handles there. It's just going to be an open strap. You're going to lie all the way down on your back. Nice flat back. Press your back in. Drive your hips up. Curl. Extend. Lower. Make sure your straps are even. You're going to drive up. Curl. Extend. Lower. Press that back in. Drive your hips up. Curl. Extend. Lower. Drive up. Curl, extend, lower. So I would start with trying 50, 10 of these. If that is easy, you want to do more muscular endurance, you can aim for 15 of them. And do about two sets starting out or three sets if it's too easy. The next exercise, we're still going to use the straps. Mine are a little bit longer. I'm not going to shorten them up. So I'm going to go to a push-up. I'm going to have my hands, you could technically go through here, which is going to mimic a ratchet strap, what you have in your truck. I'm going to go here, elbows in, hands in front of my shoulders. I'm going to press up and back down. If this is easy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk my feet back to make it more challenging. So I'm in that plank position. Come down, exhale, press up. Try not to hike your shoulders when you do this. If this is rubbing against your arms too much, another alternative you can do is go on the straps under your arms, by your armpits more. Come down and press up. Come down, press up. Again, if that's easy, you'd walk your feet back. If this is too challenging, what you do is walk your feet forward. Come all the way down, exhale, press up. Do what you can on these, eight to 10, if they're really challenging. If you wanna work more muscular endurance, do 12 to 15. Next one is gonna be an assisted squat. So I'm gonna use a strap at the end here. So what you're gonna do is try to stay nice and tall through your upper half. I'm holding the strap just to help me stay upright. I'm gonna sit down through my heels, squeeze my butt, come up nice and tall. Sit down through the heels, squeeze your glutes, come up nice and tall. All the way down and up. To make it more challenging, what you can do is loop your straps one inside the other. Make sure it's secured, locked in. You can do a single leg squat or an assisted, where you squat down, squeeze your butt, come up nice and tall. I'm doing a single leg pistol squat. Using a TRX to assist. And then you would switch sides. The next one I'm going to do is a row from the squat. So what I'm going to do is walk my feet forward. I obviously took my heels out of my socks just so I don't go for a ride forward. So you're going to drop yourself down. Don't let your hips drop too low. Don't have your hips way up high when you pull. Nice straight line. Exhale, row up. Inhale, come back down. Row up and down. Think of putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Down and up. If that's too easy, what you can do is walk your feet forward. That's gonna make it harder. Down and up. The fifth exercise. This is gonna be a little bit harder of an exercise. I'm gonna put my foot inside the loop, both sides. I'm gonna go into a plank position and I'm gonna drive my knees towards my chest and back out. Wrists are right under your shoulders. Core is tight, so think of your rib cage to your hip bone. Don't let your back arch. Don't bring your butt way up high. Rib cage is tucked. Knees towards your chest. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath. To make it more challenging, walk your hands forward a little bit. Bring your butt up and back down. So this is a pike. 